Hey guys, long time no see. Uh, my last upload was back in August of 2019, so yeah, it's been a while. And today, since we're still in the pandemic, we're in 2021, I decided, oh, let's do another room tour. But this room tour will look different compared to my last one and even to the, the point that my original room tour, it's way different right now. And I'm not sure what to call the title of this video. I'll probably just call it something generic like bedroom slash home office room tour, I guess. But yeah, as you guys can see, a pretty massive difference compared to before. And if you guys want to see my original room tour, I'll put a link in the description and in the pinned comment below. But yeah, so there might not be a lot to say. So, yeah, this could be a short video, but we'll see how long I drag this out. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys are wondering, I downsized my Blu-rays, my DVDs, sold 99% of my action figures, and I sold all my trade paperbacks and single issues. And the reason why I sold those things is not because of the pandemic, because I sold those things back in Christmas of 2019. So that was a couple months before, you know, we had the pandemic, you know, happening in the United States, the coronavirus pandemic. But yeah, I sold them due to just lack of passion. And that's pretty much the long story short of why I sold my comics, most of my figures, and uh, downsized my Blu-ray and DVD collection. But I might make a follow-up video to that, but we'll just see. So this... This video right here is probably a one-time thing, but yeah, I'm already two minutes in. Let's just get started. We'll start right here, like always. Here's the door with the door stopper, a uh, duster because my room collects dust, car keys, back scratcher, uh, a nightstand right here, a printer, and my high school degree or a diploma, and my three associates. I'm currently working on my bachelor's which I'm looking forward to because I'm almost done of getting my bachelor's. I think I have one year and a half to go, but that could change. Uh, this printer right here prints black and white, but it does the job. Inside this nightstand, uh, you have copy paper and a pencil pouch. And in here is pretty much cables and Ziploc bags and iPhone chargers and AV cables or HDMI cables, that kind of stuff, but yeah. And right here I do have a mirrored closet, so cool. And up here, as you guys can see, here is my bulletin board. And I got my college pennant right here, which came in the mail, so I decided to put it up on my bulletin board. Uh, and you see these Marvel Legends retro collection, I think. <laughs> Which, I got a black cat and a rogue. And these two are actually open, taken out of the box, but I opened them in a way where, you know, you can put them back into the box. And I love the packaging on these. Very retro, very 90s, awesome. I'm glad they made a throwback to this. But yeah. And as you guys can see in the middle, you get a Spider-Man lock, a Toys R Us rewards card thing, which I miss Toys R Us, at least the shopping and browsing part. Not a big fan of working there, but yeah. And then you have GameStop, not a fan. I don't think anybody is a fan of GameStop, but yeah. And this nightstand you guys see right here, this is actually a TV stand for those CRT TVs from back in the day. Not sure if you guys remember them, but yeah, this, this was used for a CRT TV back when I was living in the old house or from the previous town that was like, what, over 10 years ago? So, yeah, but I decided just to use this as a nightstand. You have my Spider-Man wallet. Uh, I still use wired um, earphones. You know, I'm a boomer, a charge bank. A lamp that tells time, date, and temperature. Pencil holder in here. I have supplies for school. So just blank pieces of paper and blank notebooks. 
So, and I'm heading into the new semester in a couple weeks. So, there's that. And down here, I have um, just binders and notes previous from late high school all the way to my community college, you know, career, I guess, and then right now into a four-year college. So, yeah, I, I'll probably just throw out the general ed stuff because I feel like I don't need that, but the stuff um, that applies to my major, I'm probably going to need that. So, yeah, but that's where I put it. And a futon right here, which it's comfortable, not the greatest, but it does the job, you know. And I have a futon right here just in case anybody visits or comes over, but at this point, that's not really possible, even to this day. So, until we get the pandemic sorted out, but yeah. And then you see the coffee table right here, which has uh, Crash Bandicoot coasters. Well, you have what you see here is Coco and then Crash. And below it is a Spider-Man pillow and a Spider-Man blanket. Like I said, if anybody wants to stop over, stop by, then want to sleep over, I guess, you get a pillow and a blanket. But like I said, it's not going to happen anytime soon. It is what it is. And what you see here is two posters of uh, Fallout 4. And sorry for the glare, but it's my ceiling lights and I barely use my ceiling lights because I have lamps in the room, but yeah. Uh, these posters, I got them on Amazon and same with the poster frames and the frames are pretty flimsy and a bit expensive for compared to the material. So yeah, not a big fan, but it is what it is. Like I said, it does the job. I actually love Fallout 4 and I guess the theme in this room is gaming, I guess, but yeah, we'll get more to that. And this is the lamp right here with drawers right here. And the first shelf has my water bottle, more Crash Bandicoot, uh, coasters, remote controls, pencil holder, which can also store my phone or hold my phone on there. So it's right next to me, next to my bed. Uh, dictionaries, books, more books, but yeah. A Spider-Man PS4 poster. Uh, Batgirl poster from Batman Arkham Knight. My bed right here with the comforter. So yeah, it's a mess, but it is what it is. My backpack for school, which I haven't used because we are doing online schooling. And to uh, Overwatch Ultimate Zarya figure, which, in my opinion, this is Hasbro's best figure they've ever made or engineered, in my opinion. And yes, the Zarya does have her particle cannon, but I decided to put it away in the Ziploc bag because I decided to display her using her fists. So, yeah. And then stuff like masks, uh, batteries, and also uh, action figure accessories in here and then medicine that kind of stuff and right here uh, you have like a little step or a stool you know to get to high places a fan a mini fridge we're not gonna look inside here maybe next time and I know it's a bit dark I'm filming this at night as you guys can see out there uh, for breeze thing to make the room smell good and two fake plants, a Blu-ray player, another lamp, a Crash Team Racing poster, which I love. Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel, a uh, book collection, novel collection, I guess, from high school, childhood, whatever. A uh, paper shredder, or yeah, a shredder for paper. A uh, Batman waste basket, trash can, and the glass cabinet right here as you guys can see, which Blu-rays on top, an Xbox light, and a PlayStation light by Paladone, and they are battery powered, or you can also plug them in. So, yeah. And then down here, just have a blanket, a towel, my gym bag, uh, the duster thing, you know, the air duster, and two pillows, 
two spare pillows, and I got a new TV. So I have a Roku TV, which is pretty cool, a big upgrade compared to my last TV. Everything's out of focus. And a NECA Crash Bandicoot figure, and a NECA Spyro figure. And you have the Spyro Reignited Trilogy uh, poster right here, and pretty much my desk. And this is on Instagram, so sorry about that. But yeah, and pretty much, yeah, and there's my gaming PC. Uh, I did not build this. Long story short, my brother bought this from a friend of his. Then my brother decided to build himself a PC from scratch, so I was handed this, and there you go. And it's a decent gaming PC. I'm not a really, I'm not a tech guy, but. You know, I just use this PC to play some games on Steam and emulation, whatever, you know, play some old school PS1, PS2 games and arcade games. And yeah, you have a mic, a really, you know, crappy kind of chair, but it does the job. A phone stand, lamp, speakers, webcam, tape, staple, another mic, uh, keyboard. And right here, usually people would put the keyboard right here, but I put my Xbox controller, a subwoofer, and then some filing stuff for important documents, and my Marvel and DC Comics Ultimate Guidebooks, which I love, even though they're outdated, but I'll take it. A pencil sharpener, and a clock, but yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it, guys, so yeah. See you guys next time.